So what's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about social media and people and basically is the problem the tools or is it the problem the people? I think this is an interesting thing to talk about. I've been thinking about this for some weeks. Um, think about it like social media, a lot of times people blame that like um, social media exists, dating apps exist or like or if you have like people and social media and is it like the tools or is it not the tools? Like people say if you just deleted all social media platforms and dating apps and everything in the world would be solved in terms of like dating and like the way people behave narcissistically and so on and so on. I think that's kind of a funny statement because I think people there's always inherently been like narcissistic people and people who have bad behaviors etc I think social media just kind of like brings it out easier because it, it gives you the tools to become that type of person more easily and it gives you a false sense of ego when you have a certain following especially for like women it gives you a certain sense of like ego if you're like a lot of basically ghost followers that don't really mean anything but they're like simping for you or they're just following you for the sake of following you because you're a pretty girl or something. That happens a lot in social media and that's why a lot of women, they're all up in their heads like thinking like, well, I'm the best or something. Or I'm the prettiest girl even though you're just a normal person. You're just like an average girl in like a city. Like nobody really cares about you but you just have this ego like thinking you are that special when in reality you turn the corner and there's another girl that looks exactly the same as her pretty much. And it's like a lot of girls get all up high up on their heads and that and some men too it's only a limited behavior a lot of men can get that ego from a certain following and a lot of people are attached to what kind of social media followings they have on their accounts and they wouldn't be able to like delete it or start over because it would be like the end of the world which kind of shows a certain sense of attachment people have towards these tools and Honestly, I think the world would go crazy if everybody just deleted social media and it wouldn't exist anymore. People would probably go crazy a little bit, I think, because some people even live off social media and so on, make money on it. And I think there's some benefits to it that, you know, you can make it, make content that can be useful. You can do art and whatever, but and build a business maybe and all these other things you can do advertise easier um, find people easier whatever but like at the end of the day I feel like it causes more problems than it has like good features all the good is overshadowed by the bad and so I don't think it's like I'm more on the side that social media is bad for the most part it depends how you use it again it's a tool so I think that's where this discussion is interesting because you have is it the people or is it the tools because I think it's a little bit of both I think the tools existing enable a lot of bad people to use social media in a bad way and I think it's also just obviously the people um, that use it kind of it kind of feeds into itself they might start off fine but then it kind of turns bad over time when you get a certain following and they start having this ego unless they're very self-aware and kind of like conscious of what they're doing and how their following actually is formed and you know like actually very conscious of their self but usually narcissistic people are not very conscious of themselves or aware of what they're actually trying to do or what they're doing and what they're thinking because they're narcissistic and very maybe entitled and all these other things shallow and you don't really realize a lot of these people narcissistic people don't realize that they just take it like oh i'm th this and that and they kind of get it in their own heads they're not very conscious of what they're doing or what they're what is happening in their head or they're just so narcissistic that they don't even they can't even get to the consciousness of being able to realize what their actual value is and what they're deriving this fake value from in their head I think that's very interesting. Um, that's a lot what I see a lot of people do. 
and that's like one of the number one traits honestly in people that I hate is like social media narcissism it's mostly prevalent in, in terms of like women I think and most men don't get like massive followings so it's pretty rare to see like maybe some guys do if they're like top tier guys but like most guys don't but even then like a lot of these guys are still not super narcissistic they can be but a lot of these guys are still like conscious of where they are at and a lot of guys even if they have big followings they have built that big following through a certain action providing content or doing something meaningful a lot of times so if they have a big following so they're not like narcissistic like there are some few examples of narcissism in men too um but i would say this is more of a female problem i think on the large majority that i know this anyway um but i think uh, as well people enable this behavior the people who are those like ghost followers or simps or whatever and just a lot of users in social media do enable the bad use of these tools and it causes the problems that happen in social media but because you have so many people on this planet you can't control everybody it's a free platform you can do whatever you want on it for the most part so i think it's hard to say if really the everything not existing on social media dating apps whatever would help the problem because at the end of the day it might but at the same time it would still also take some things away from our lives that we're used to but at the same time I think on a level it's very hard to fix the problem when it comes to the whole like how people act because I, I think it's only going to a worse direction in my opinion how people act like people are very not conscious of what they're doing and especially young people are very easily manipulated into using social media and not realizing what they're actually doing and a lot of people don't even if they recognize the problem they're not willing to do anything about it they kind of just accept it and even if there's a decent amount of people who understand the problem they're not doing anything about it and they're just gonna live their life anyway so i don't think there's ever going to be enough people that would turn the whole case around unless it's like a global like event type of thing where everybody would make a change because that's what it would require for social media to change in some way so i don't think it's going to be happening um it just re would require too much effort from too many people to actually reach a state where it wouldn't it would make a huge change in the way social media is perceived and the way it's used so i don't see that happening so whether it's the tools or the people i think it's a bit of both the tools existing is a technically a problem but also the people using it is a problem so I think it's like 50-50 pretty much like it's both is the problem and it's hard to say if this world would be better or uh, less better without social media it's really hard to say because there are some good things in social media too like YouTube and stuff there's some good content and good things come out of these things but I think there's a bad and good side to everything in life so it's kind of hard to say i think it would require perhaps changes from the tools themselves and the people to make a full change and make social media for the better but i don't think it's ever going to reach like a good like a good enough state where it would be like ideal so it's kind of going to be interesting to see what happens like when it comes to the future of social media and like just how people act and everything um a lot of people have also talked about like just society um, going downhill when it comes to just social media and everything and that's where I would honestly just recommend doing things like going out in the real world, in nature, going out, experiencing things, life for yourself, it's easier to disco disconnect from social media. But I have seen a lot of positive movements too when it comes to people just deleting social media and detoxing a lot of people have been doing that too so it's nice to see that growing you know the whole like i guess more self-improvement type movements but i still think most there's still a lot of people on social media and i don't think it's going to change anytime soon we'll see what happens but i think it's i think there's if it changed drastically there would be a drastic event that changed it like a really bad event that suddenly made everybody change their minds about it 
that's the only way I would see it changing. But I think I just wanted to have this like idea and discussion of social media and tools and people and is it which one is the problem. But thank you for watching the video. That's the some thoughts.